Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Funhouse. Got a rare treat for you today. We're actually inside my workshop instead of outside in the yard or on location. And uh, something I have found very useful in my workshop are these old metal cabinets and closets. People are throwing them away left and right. They're clunky and ugly and take up a lot of space, but they've got a certain versatility and rigidity that you just don't get out of wood. So what I like to do is weld up a little cart out of bed frame and throw some really strong casters on it. Uh, there's probably 50 to 100 pounds in these milk crates. This one, I actually had some rusty old shelves that fit it. So I added to the shelves. This has become my chemical closet. Um, but this cabinet, this is probably my, my reigning achievement. Um, it was rotted out big time. So I made it this cart with some really strong casters and I welded a piece of angle iron up here to where it wasn't rotted out. It was sitting in a neighbor's backyard rusting away on the dirt. Uh, at any rate, I am on the constant lookout in dumpsters, uh, yard sales, um, flea markets, whatever, for anyone throwing away anything that I could maybe use. Um, I used to work for the phone company. You have never, ever seen anyone throw away money like the phone company. Millions of dollars in the dumpster. So anyway, um, when a truck would be going to auction or when a truck got totaled, uh, they would gut out the drawer system that was in the truck. Sometimes they'd put it in another truck, but a lot of times it would just sit around for a few years and then they would throw it in the dumpster. Uh, there was a place down in... It's New Jersey, where uh, they were selling the building, and phew, <laughs> they were throwing away brand new materials. I mean, it was ridiculous. I rounded up these drawers that were from these uh, work vans, and um, my future father-in-law gave me these metal beams. Can't remember what they were for, but they fit in here perfect. They had these tabs on them, so I just measured and I welded them. And I put these racks of drawers up here. I left a little space so I could put more drawers on top of the drawers. Then there's another rack of drawers. And then there's all these other drawers. And I've got all my hardware in here. And I mean, I've basically got uh, my own hardware store. Um, almost whatever I need. I got it separated by size, by... Uh, fine and coarse thread by metric or not um i gotta make some new tags for these because i put stuff in there and then it didn't make sense and look at all these three eighths bends i think what i'm going to wind up doing is emptying out one of these bigger bends you know if there's something different about them fine long short coarse thread fine thread uh allen head but if they're all roughly the same type of bolt, maybe I could just put them in something that's divided up a bit. Long story short, you know, nobody would have gave this a second glance out for garbage. And I gave it a second glance. And now look, I got a hardware store. So why am I telling you all this? Well, I got a little bit of room here. And as anybody who's a workshop hoarder like i am knows if you have a little bit of room you got to stuff some crap in there if you make room that means you've got room for more crap so how am i going to get more crap here efficiently uh, i've tried shelves they don't really work out for me too well so um somebody gave me this cabinet i know it doesn't look like much but uh it is very sturdy very strong stuff got these holes already drilled in it um it's got these feet i'm gonna grind off these nuts and get rid of these feet and put casters on it i've already got a really strong set of casters that i sourced from uh some scrap and uh there are sides that pop on it it's already got two racks that i can put in here at different heights and put shelves on and then i'm gonna have to make some more but first things first let's get rid of these feet I left this sitting in the woods for a while. They're so rusty, they're not even adjustable anymore. They gotta go so I can put the casters on. Let me show you guys something. This is a blade 
diamond blade made by Diablo. Not a sponsor, but fingers crossed. Anyway, you know when you're using your cutoff wheel and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually you have to replace it just because it doesn't have enough circumference to do what you need it to do? This doesn't get any smaller. The diamonds wear off. You gotta throw it away and put a new one on. But if you're patient, they last a really long time and they never get any smaller. They don't fly apart in your face and cut your jugular. Uh, highly recommend them. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to cut through that bolt too. It's going in to the framework. Uh, I got tired of playing games, so uh, Big Brutus made short work of those legs. And I knocked off the paint, because you know, hydrocarbons. It's gonna be bad enough that these uh, casters are galvanized. I don't need paint to boot. But I cleaned up everything. I got one clamped into place, and now I'm gonna start welding. See if I can weld my clamp to the wheel. Nope, I guess I lift the clamp another day. Okay, these particular wheels can be locked out of being able to rotate. I'll put both of them on the left and I'll put the, uh, the ones that always spin on the right. All right, I got the wheels welded on. Now we get to see if it actually uh, fits in my workshop. Uh, just kidding, I measured first. The good news is we should fit with a half inch to spare. Bad news is, uh, we won't fit through the door, so I gotta lay it down. I got a low ceiling in here, and hopefully if I bring it over to this area, I'll have room to stand it up. But, uh, <laughs> there's no guarantees in life. Whew, fingers crossed. Well, I am grateful that my plan worked, and I'm grateful that it's in place and it does fit with about three quarters of an inch to spare. I am far more grateful that none of you witnessed the stupidity and tomfoolery that it took to get that stood up and in place. But it's in place. Now to start outfitting it with uh, shelves and accoutrement. All right, so I got the wheels on, it rolls. It fits. <clears throat> but now I don't know what to do with it. Um, I was going to trim down this rack of drawers to fit in there. It would have been four wide. And then for the last two, I would have just had to weld a new piece in the middle there and make a freestanding set of, you know, two by three drawers, two wide, three down. But it didn't make sense to destroy that. And I've got plenty of small storage in my other cabinet. I need storage for big hardware. Um, <clears throat> these brackets that came with the unit, I've only got two sets. One set there, one set there. These um, are, would be perfect for me to weld or bolt on some drawer slides and make some drawers. But um, I don't know that drawers would help with my problem. So I think I'm gonna do is throw these brackets back on. I'm gonna make some new brackets as well. I'm gonna take some angle iron, bed frame. I'll drill a hole in it here or maybe here and here so that it bolts on and it's adjustable for both sides. Maybe I'll weld a piece across the middle too. 
and maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that on those, though, just in case I want to do use them for drawers. I think I'm just going to make shelves for now until I come up with something better. And then I'll just have to standardize everything in giant coffee cans or something along those lines. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I needed 17 by 24. This plywood was already 18. So I left it 18, cut it 24, but I notched out the corners for it to get past those bolts and whatnot. And then I got these brackets. They just happen to be the right height to clear these giant pretzel barrels. So I'm going to leave those where they are. I'm going to make a shelf to go on top of here and span that gap. I uh, cut a shelf, I dry fit it, then I took some of this uh, edging that you would use on the, the end of a piece of sheetrock if it was going to be exposed. I cut that to fit. I use these little zip screws to hold it down in the corners. This will help add some rigidity to it. This is the side that will be facing up and that's what it will look like from the edge. You might have seen that in my uh, repair video where I fixed a margarita fill cooler. And uh, let's go put this in and see how it looks. Okay, that's in. Fits good. Looks halfway decent. Um, I might put some down here just for appearances sakes, but underneath here uh, is really sturdy. So I don't need any extra support on this uh, on this shelf. But for here, I was gonna weld something across from that bracket to this, but if I ever change it to drawers, that stuff would be in the way. And yeah, I could cut it or grind it off, but I think this steel's gonna add a little strength to the shelf. Uh, I'm not planning on putting anything super heavy on it. And I think that'll be good enough. And now I'll put this next set of brackets, however high I decide I need them, and do this again. And then I guess if I keep going, I'll have to make some brackets. So maybe I'll take this and measure it and trace the holes so that I uh, have an exact duplicate and don't have to um, try to use the tape measure. I went out and got some more of this metal trim. So this is just about loaded to the gills. As you can see, I cut three sets of brackets, put in three more shelves. They both, they all have um, this metal trim front and back. I ran out of wood, so I had to use two pieces and then bridge it together with a piece underneath. I might trim this smaller so it'll fit on the bottom and then put the bottom one up there. But right now, I've got my shelves built. I've got everything in the shelves, on the shelves. I have everything uh, cataloged on these papers stuck with this magnet. And uh, I'm quite happy with the results and how much room it bought me. Good news is it got my workbench cleared off. Bad news is I put different stuff on the workbench. But uh, <laughs> it's got potential. It will be clean, so help me. I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. Thanks for watching.